Hi everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today on this beautiful Tuesday. It's a sunny Southern California day and I just wanted to pop on and get some of my empties shared with you. And we're finally getting a little bit cooler weather. I wanted to start off by giving very many prayers and wishes and prayers for safety to everyone in Florida and all of the rescue and cleanup efforts for North Carolina. You know, growing up, I don't remember there being storms like this across the country that affected people so very much. And whatever it's attributed to, my prayers go out. I, I hope that that the aid is swift and that they find and rescue people and their animals. And it's just such an awful thing. And, and I know uh, Milton is rapidly approaching, so I wish nothing but safety to everyone. Um, I don't take it for granted at all living in California, and I might complain about the heat a little bit, but we have our share of earthquakes and wildfires, and to me, nothing like what we have to deal with um, the rest of our fellows in other parts of the country with the weather. So prayers to you, to you all, and I um, have a few places that I've been making donations. I have one friend of a friend in North Carolina that's going to be bringing supplies to um, to different places in need that pa uh, mountain pack mules are going to be bringing supplies in. Um, I sent some money to Melanie from Rocky Top. Um, she's Her church is doing a local effort to get supplies to people in need in Tennessee. And I know the Salvation Army and the Red Cross for North Carolina are in, um, are taking donations and in, in, um, uh, for to get relief to those areas so just wanted to share that real quick and uh, let's do some empties oh my gosh I have quite a pile here alrighty so uh, lavender and speckles raspberry jam pink marshmallow pie that was beautiful this morning in the kitchen along with a little bakery I found I'm doing rose girls jam and jelly I was happy to finish this. This is beautiful strawberry jam, raspberry sauce, blueberry cobbler, blackberry jam, butter cookie, and peeps cake. That is a powerhouse, and this is pretty old. So I finished that. Uh, finished a beloved from Kay, my beloved Carla from Kay Scented Melts, red plum, block, red plum baklava, that's a mouthful, zucchini bread, and crackling birch. This is a beauty. I would totally do that blend again with her. Rose Girls, Pumpkin Sugar Donut, Bath and Body Work type. That was old, but it did great. A little sample that I did this morning here in the dining room. A couple little spiderweb things uh, of Cracklin Birch. That was beautiful. Rose Girls, Shadow Queen, Lord of Misrule, Marshmallow Fireside, Tobacco, and Vanilla Bourbon. This was beautiful. This was like a big muffin thing. I forget what you call those, but it was gorgeous. A little sample from L3 of Naughty Nutcracker. From Zape, Season of the Witch. And this is old and did so good. I love her wax. Dried leaves, toasted marshmallow, and caramel cider. That was a beauty. Uh, Dess's October, hot apple cider, sweet caramel, pumpkin pie, cinnamon clove. I love this. This performed so well. I also did a new big snap bar of her Salem blend. I have a little bit left, so it's not in this pile, but it was it's her new formula. Either way, these are powerhouses in my house. I, I use Crocs. I, I interchange them with my regular warmers, and I, her wax does great. I usually let it cure a little bit if it's brand new, but I had just gotten the Salem with her new formula, and it did wonderfully. Uh, Honey Soda Co., which is now Wick Wish Candle Company. This is Fright Night. This is really old, but it did great. This is from 2021. Fright Night is Kettle Corn Gooey Salted Caramel. This did so good. It was like a big, fat, thick ghost. This is an old, beloved one that I was hoarding that I thought, just go for it. I have the lotion in it anyways, but Bubble and Bloom is a company that I had found on Etsy. And sadly, she closed. She could not deal with the Etsy prices gouging and whatever. I had I had tried to encourage her to do a website, but her stuff was so good. The bath gels, the bubble bath, the lotion. So Hocus Pocus is a lot like it's a it's a crunchy fall leaf caramel apple. This is a lot like Zape's poison apple um, or Carla's 
Rustic Lodge, which is now also called Caramel Apple. This is beautiful. So I do, left, luckily I have a lot of lotion, but these are like, it was like a big giant clam. But this is so old and it did so good. So I'm sad that she closed. I ha Luckily I have some of her stuff left. This is Wick Wish, which was the formerly called Honey Soda Co. I think she, Honey Soda Co is still around, but Wick Wish is, um, she's actively doing wax now through this brand. This is called Los Angeles Institute. I love her labels. This is uh, coconut, lime verbena, bamboo, and blood orange. This was beautiful. That did great. Uh, another beauty from Carla. And I had her dupe this from another vendor. But this is, I need more of this. This is dune grass, sea salt, and mahogany teak wood. This is so, so pretty. Absolutely, if you like aquatic or things like of that nature, this is killer. So I'm gonna have Carla do that again. From Zape Halloween Town, this is another oldie but goodie. Caramel cider, autumn leaves, and haunted houses. That did beautifully, that's at least two or three years old. Uh, from Rose Girls, another muffin one was Apple Fritter Donut Hole Cookie Land. Apple Fritter Donut Hole Confetti Cake Toffee Butterscotch Pretzel and Cookies. That, of course, was beautiful. From Pharmacist Daughter, Malibu. Salty Sea Air Summer Boardwalk Cotton Candy Frosting. Uh, I really wish that I could find more of this. I might have another vendor do it. Um, not, uh, not every vendor has Summer Boardwalk. If you know of other vendors that do Summer Boardwalk, I would love to know. Um but it is beautiful. I'm just not purchasing from them anymore, uh, but that's a beautiful blend and I do enjoy their wax quite a bit. Uh, Honeydew Melon Beach Glass from L3. It was absolutely stunning. Uh, another L3, this is old, but this did great. Cashmere Cotton, Cashmere Cotton Ice Cream Party. That did beautifully. Who'd think to mix cashmere and ice cream, but it was great. Another L3, Lilac Rainstorm Marshmallow Fireside. That's so pretty. I love that. From Vintage Chic, I finished a very old piece from 2021 of Jack-O-Lantern. Pumpkin Zucchini Bread and Sugar Cookie Dough. That was gorgeous. That did really well in my kitchen. Super happy with that. Another fantastic blend I did with Carla, or I copied someone else that did this blend with her. Lemon Pound Cake, Honeyed Pineapple, and Sugar Waffle Cone. That was so splendid stunning lemon goes really good as carla said with honeyed pineapple but oh that was great i have to do that again from super tarts open holidays only sugared plum sugared plums strap sweet berry jam and vanilla bean that's old but it did great today i interspersed with the cracklin birch from britta's some scentsy sleigh ride which is gorgeous i love this very balsamy and good from Second and Spruce, oh my gosh, I just messaged Erica to see if she, when she could do this again. This went for 24 hours plus in my kitchen. I was sad, I didn't want to pour it out. It was so strong, but I have other wax to do. So I poured it into something else to, to save some of it. Oh my God. This was Palo Santo Roasted Pine Cone Powdered Sugar Donuts. This is from May of last year. This was insane. We all know how good Second Spruce does, but this is like, how is this so strong 24 hours later? Like what? So she said she's gonna look into pouring that again one of these days. So thank you, Erica. Snooze Button from L3. One of my very favorites, Sweet Lavender, Vanilla Bean, Noel, and Buttermint. Love Snooze Button. I have the body spray, I have the hair serum, and um, the dry oil, I think, in this from L3. So glad they're not closing. I also interspersed today amongst my warmers out here in the living room and dining room vanilla waves from Scentsy. That was so pretty, so pretty. I have the lotion too. This is so pretty. I have to put that aside to try to hoard some of that somewhere, get some more. Uh, pine cones and spice, an oldie but goodie from Lavender and Speckles. This did great in my kitchen, in my crocs. I, I find that her wax does best in really hot warmers, so it does stupendously well in my crocs. This is one that I'm dying to get more of from Britta's Alley, which is aloe and green clover, garden mint, and cucumber. I'm trying to get her to pour this again. I know she also has a kind of a fun little thing. She has a Patreon subscription. If you subscribe to her Patreon, 
she's got customs over there where you can kind of get customs anytime you want as opposed to different customs times that come up during the year in her regular website so I'm going to um, think about joining her patreon or just wait because I absolutely need more of this this was so strong and good what else what else Traverse City sweater weather I put that in one of my warmers today that's so beautiful Got a lot here, you guys. Thanks for your patience. Boom Boom Cookie Dough. I put this in the kitchen with the jam and jelly from Rose Girls just to put a little bakery in there. So that's doing great. Another Traverse City Ice Ginger Snap. I did that too in another warmer. I added that to the jam and jelly from Rose Girls. The Melt Stash. Sunrise Zucchini. Zucchini Bread Hot Orange Danish and Amish Harvest. This is so beautiful. Really, really pretty. I need to... Um, I need to uh, get this again. Fantastic. From Britta's Cherry Pie and Pretzel. That did great. L3 Vanilla Balsam and Cookie Therapy. That was gorgeous. I love her Vanilla Balsam. This is Santa's on Keto Pretzel Sugared Shortbread, which is the, the Cookie Therapy part. Britta's Hipster. I love her Hipster. I think that's a dupe of a some kind of cologne from... Abercrombie, correct me if I'm wrong, but I love hipster. Another Brita's, uh, another hipster. I went nuts with hipster that day. She had like a single oil sale. Crunchy from Super Tarts. Butter brickle toffee, whipped cream, and marzipan. That's old, but it did great. From Honey Soda Co. Apple Lane. This is really old. Cider Lane, apple butter, caramel, and leaves. That did beautifully. We're getting there. Oh my gosh, this was a good one. This is from that Smell Good shop. I had not gotten scoops from her before. I've, and I've gotten samples, but I got a tub of this Snickerdoodle Blueberry Zucchini Bread. I put this all through my house one day. This is so beautiful. Got the schmutz on me. This, oh my God, this is such a good, beautiful blueberry. This did great. The texture of her scoops is interesting. It's kind of, it's not sticky like, um, like like zape or like um scoopable which is also wonderful this was more grainy and um less sticky if i could ex describe it that way but this did great it, it was easy to get off the spoon and i just that i went to town with this all over my house it was so pretty i would definitely do that again uh zape the breakfast club this is another oldie but goodie fresh blueberries lemon zest and glazed donuts that did great from Yummer Delight, Cookie Confession. Something nutty, sugar cookie, and marshmallow peeps. That smelled interesting on cold. Kind of odd, but it really warmed beautifully. But this was great. I like her wax. From Mainstays, Berry Apple Marmalade. I think I got this at uh, Walmart. That did very pretty, very well. From, this has a lot of schmutz on it, so I'm sorry. This is House Tully Vanilla Pumpkin Almond Milk from MK's Body Sweets. If you've not tried her wax, it's very good. It performs very well. I have another, I'm not quite done with this, but I also did Sandy Claws from MK's Body Sweets. And this is like a, a Christmas blend, but it did great. I have a little bit of that left. From Zape, I did Strawberry Zucchini Bread. This is super old, probably from 2020 or 2021. Fresh baked zucchini bread and strawberry swirl. That is so pretty. Her strawberry zucchini bread. So good. It did great, even though it was old. Emerald Grove. I got a beautiful sample from Carla from Kay. That was so beautiful. From Made to Melt. Butter My Buns. This is from early 2022. That did great. Sadly, Sis isn't in business anymore, but I love Made to Melt Wax. MK's Body Sweets. Christmas Orange. That was so beautiful. That did great. From Super Tarts, I finished Harvest Baking, which is pie crust and fall leaves. That was so, so pretty. Loved it. Loved it. From Better Homes and Gardens, I finished Line Dry Linen. That did beautifully. From Rose Girls, Pink Clothes on the Line, Pink Sugar and Soft Laundry. We're getting there. Thank you for being patient. <laughs> Oh gosh, from Sassy Girl Aroma, I did Palo Santo Topaz. That was a beauty, absolutely. This wonderful powdery, palloey, fruity Palo Santo woodsy note. Um, this is a single oil. I all, Carla from K also has this Palo Santo Topaz and it's beautiful, it smells the same. Um, fresh baked bread, 
from L3. I finished that scoop. Drift from Zape. This is sea salt, ozone, and driftwood. I have this in the body spray too. This is so pretty. Very aquatic and beautifully beachy. Amazing glazing from the Melt Stash. Zucchini bread, cinnamon glazed donuts, and wild berry mousse. That was so pretty. Love that. Fantastic. The, the Candle Nurse, I finished Lionheart, which is Beach After Dark, her house blend, Palo Santo, and Fire Roasted Marshmallow. This is from June of this year. This did great. From Vintage Chic, from August 23, Black Cat Crunch, Cider Lane, Whipped Cream, and Rich Sugar Cookies. That was so good. That did great. From Traverse City, Palo Santo and Fireside Frosting, Palo Santo, Marshmallow, Smoky Embers, and Buttercream. That was really pretty. I enjoyed that a lot. Almost done. From Super Tarts, Gobble Gobble Berries, which is black, blackberry, pumpkin, and cake batter. That was very pretty. From Lavender and Speckles, a walk around town square. This is one of my favorite Gilmore Girls blends that she does. This is espresso, buttercream, clove, nutmeg, pumpkin, and iced almond cookies. This was killer in my kitchen. Oh my gosh, so good. From L3, Graveyard Souls, which is Let Them Eat Cake, Peeps, and Vanilla Custard. That did great. From Rose Girls, Endless Summer, Strawberry Daiquiri, Florida Key Lime Pie, and Saltwater Taffy. That was old, but gorgeous. From Brita's, T-Virus, Library, and Absinthe. This was so strong. Absinthe is, sometimes comes off as very cologne -y, very floral. Um, I ended up adding something to this to kind of soften it up a little bit, but it was strong and beautiful, and I love the library in it. From Knowles Farm, our wonderful Travis and his family make the, such good wax. This is Stay, 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 Caramelized Vanilla, Sea Salt, Macadamia, Tonka Bean, and Coconut Blossom. That was really good. I finished a scoop of grassy, Grass, Lilac, Salty Sea Air. That did great. Almost done. House Targaryen, Dragon's Blood, Bonfire, and Leather. I'm keeping that aside so I will get Mary from MK's to pour that again for me. From K, Blueberry Cobbler, Zucchini Bread, Vanilla Butter Fudge. This is a blend I did with Carla. It's called On Blueberry Hill, and it is fan frickin tastic So make sure you grab some of this. It's a beautiful, beautiful blend. So On Blueberry Hill is the name of it now. Uh, L3 Swimming Pool, Summer Scoop, and Cream Soda. I'm keeping that aside. I think I went over those with you guys so I can remember. I am sad that they didn't bring back St. Knickerdoodle from Scentsy. I have to remember to uh, see if any of my Scentsy friends out there can get me some St. Knickerdoodle. So please let me know if you can do that. I miss St. Knickerdoodle. The Adams Family from the Smell Good Shop. Bonfire, Apple Cider, and Leaves. Frosted Juniper Tart Cranberry Orange Marmalade. That did beautifully. I love Juniper. Tobacco and Woods. Uh, Charity sent me this. Lavender and Speckles. I have to have more of this. This was fantastic. This is Citrus Pine, Pipe Tobacco, Oak Moss, and Amber. Sorry, I dropped one. From Honey Soda Co. This is a beloved old one that she did that's called Dublin Wash and Fold. Freshly washed Irish linen, green tweed, and spring rain. This is so pretty. She does a lot of, you know, like Sense and Sensibility and Jane Austen and Irish countryside vintage type things. That was, I hoarded that for a long time. That was beautiful. Sassy Girl Aroma, Midnight Mass. This cathedral inspired fragrance will feel like you've wandered into a church service with its notes of deep incense and smooth wood. I'm going to keep that one aside to see if Julie will pour that again. And prayers to Julie and her family. Um, she has a, a severe illness in her family with her mother-in-law who um, I'm so sorry to hear that. They've been through a lot. So prayers to Julie's family. Um, 30 A Scents, Go Ask Your Dad, Coastal Escape, Clean and Airy Ocean Scent, a captivating blend of marine notes, water mint, and tropical blossoms. This was so good. I was holding that aside to see if she'd pour that again. That was fantastic. Beachfront from Sassy Girl, Beach Nights, Waffle Cone, Cotton Candy Frosting. That's another beauty. I'm keeping that aside to remind me to grab that again one day. 
Coming down to the home stretch, this is Melted Moose Smoke Show. I hoarded this, but I went ahead and warmed it. It's charred wood, leaves, smoked vanilla, and marshmallow fireside. That was old, but really, really good. Um, and that's about it, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so cleansing to have that done. So I really appreciate all of you watching and hanging in there with me. And I have to go back to work now, but I wanted to get this video done. So lots of prayers and blessings to all of you out there. Stay safe and thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you all. Bye.